I'm sorry, but did you forget the milk? <laughs> Oh, it is recorded. Okay, so, Dory, could you give us a little wave to the camera, please? This is the camera just here in front of you. Say so, hello, you know. <laughs> hello, everybody. So, just tell us a little about yourself, Dory. When were you born? I was born uh, the 5th, the 7th, 1939. 1939. So, you grew up in the 50s. It was really your heyday. Yes. So, tell us, just before that, what was life? You grew up in a convent from the age of 5 to 15. What was it like in the convent when you got taught? Did you have school there? Oh, it was lovely. It was a lovely place. I thoroughly enjoyed them, and the the, the um, nuns and that were absolutely fantastic. So you did nuns do all the teaching and everything as well. Yes. What, what was your favourite subject then when you were in school? Do you think, did you have one? No. no, come on. This is school kids. Say a good example. <laughs> well, being quite truthful, I wasn't good at anything. So you weren't too good at them. Oh, that's a shame. That's all right though. You turned out, out alright. <laughs> so, if somebody did muck about, you were obviously a role model student. If somebody did mess around in the conference, what happened to them? How were they punished? No, they wasn't. There was no thing there. They were absolutely lovely. You couldn't be naughty to them. So, none of the kids were naughty at all? No, you really couldn't be naughty to them. Oh, that's knackered. They were then. absolutely marvellous. What about like, Eddie? Like, the teacher when he grew up, how did they treat him in school if he mucked about? Do you know what they did? He used to get caned, didn't he, across his knuckles? Get caned across the knuckles, right yeah. across your hands? Yeah. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so moving on from school, what was the fashion like when you were younger? What can you remember? Oh. What were your favourite fashions? So how was it different to now? Um, I, what, what are they called with the dresses out there? I used to love them. Poodles come. I don't know. Um, like in, in Greece and things like so that. Did, people did dress like that then, did they, even in England? Oh, yeah. We used to have a petticoat underneath our dress and it used to flare it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so good. Right. Quite good. And um, this is a good question. What were you doing during the moon landings when it was on TV? Uh, you're watching it on television. You're watching it on TV. What was that? Was it all in black and white, was it? Yes. What was that like for everyone? Well, it was marvellous. Because we couldn't believe it at the time, naturally we couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> but it was marvellous. And um, also you thought, you know, God, had they really been there? It made you think that, but naturally they did. Yeah, okay. And what were the other main events when you were growing up? Like for us, we've got 9-11 and things like the Iraq. Well, what were the main real events that you can remember everyone? Queen Elizabeth's, what do you call it? The coronation. The coronation. That's 52, wasn't it, I think? Yeah. 53? Yeah. Yeah. What, what happened during that? What did they do for it? Oh, they went out in the street. They had great big long tables. And <laughs> everybody was happy and merry and danced. Flags at the top. Okay. And flags all over the houses. Yeah, it was marvellous, actually. No, really it marvellous. Nice. And they still had rationing then as well. Yeah. Did they up to the, yeah. the mid 50s? So what was that like? Can you remember? What I did think... you have to eat? <gasps> what would you eat? Well, <laughs> at the time, my mum never, never let us go hungry. She'd go without herself. But I know we had a great lot of candles in them days for the light. Okay. We really did, even then. So the house didn't have electricity, or it would only run so often? Or... No, it was more that you couldn't afford it. Okay. If you couldn't sense. afford to put it in the meter, because we used yeah. to have a meter. Okay. If we couldn't afford to put it in the meter, then we just light candles. But my mum was so uptight with it all, though, because, uh, you know, you forget to be an house light. <laughs> <laughs> and she had, what, she had four kids. So, well, that's to be very, very careful. Yeah, okay. So what did you, what was your typical do? <laughs> Because now we have curry, we have kebab, we've got all no, sorts of different things. No, typical dinner was, we used to have sausages quite a lot, I know that. We used to have beans quite a lot. But um, as for pudding, that wasn't really heard of. Okay. And that's the truth, that is, it wasn't heard of a pudding. But even in, in 52, it wasn't heard of a pudding. But my mum used to always make sure that we were fed first. Okay. So it was the first time you can remember maybe having like foreign food or something that you'd like something completely new, maybe like a curry or something like that. But to be quite truthful, since since I got married, 
Your dad introduced me to the first curry and rice. <laughs> Sounds about right. When was that, roughly? Um, I can't really remember. No, that was when he was married. Oh, when John got married? Yeah, so when John was, got married. Which was so that was a good few years ago. So that was the 80s? Other, other than that, it was more that um, we just had what my mum used to give me. Yeah, just whatever that was, the sausage beans. Oh, that sounds good. So what about, um, well, you grew up in this convent, what would you, once your lessons had all finished for the day, what would you do? What would you, nowadays, all my boys, they go and play Xbox. Obviously you didn't have electricity, like you said, all the time. No, what would you do after school, once it finished, what would you do? Well, naturally, I was still there all the time. Yeah. But um, they used to play, uh, ten, you know, uh, the, what was it called? Table tennis. Teddy, table tennis. Table I used to okay. love that. We used to try and get that. Naturally, there was a good few of us there. Yeah. And we all had to take our turns, otherwise it would go away. <laughs> but um, no, table tennis, it was good, I loved that. Alright, anything else? Or was it pure table tennis? No uh, drafts. Drafts? It was a lot more games and things, was it? People talking to <laughs> <laughs> I know, Drafts, yeah, I love drafts. <laughs> okay, that's good. And um, tell it, Eddie, can you, do you want to come in and be in our oh, film no. for a second? <laughs> <laughs> What about music when you were growing up? Because I know you're big into your music. What was the big popular music? Elvis. I loved Elvis. I loved the Ink Spots. I like the Ink Spots. I love the Ink Spots and I love the Bee Gees. Okay, so the Bee Gees were a little bit later. Yeah. yeah. But can you remember Elvis? There was a lot of controversy around it, wasn't there? Yeah. What, yeah. what was all that about? Well, I, 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 I truthfully didn't read because we never had no papers there, naturally. Because oh, you didn't have newspapers? No, I, okay. I didn't. Not in the home. I used to just get the information what somebody told me or off the tally. It was more wireless than a tally. It was more radio. Okay, that's interesting. More, more radio then. Yeah. So when did you first see a television, can you think? When did you first sort of start to watch it regularly? Uh, that I really can't, I can't believe. I don't know. Honestly, don't know, Pete. I'm not too sure. Well, we know by the moon landing, she saw that on TV. So that was 69. So yeah, we maybe, saw that. Maybe it was the 60s a bit later yeah, on. Yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. Don't be mean, Eddie. I'll interview you. Well, well, lovely. Thank you very much, Dory. Give us a wave to you now and again. Tell him to work hard. Stay in school. <laughs> Stay in school.